And what's been so different for both pregnancies coming around is just this full ignition and expansion to do more. Whereas, you know, previous Nita, and I don't know if this was your experience, but pre-kids, I was kind of afraid and scared that I was going to lose my identity, that I was going to have, have to give up all of my dreams. So what have you noticed has been some of those shifts for you? Mm. Yeah, I definitely felt the same. I was like, what is it going to look like on the other side? And I didn't know. And that was that was confronting, but it was also exciting. And I knew it was going to expand me in such a way that I couldn't explain or expect because I'd never done it before. But it has, like I said, it's made everything better. It's made my work better. It's given me so much more purpose. And I wouldn't be here talking with you. And I know we're going to talk about Holy Mama, the, the program I created, but I wouldn't be here with you talking about Holy Mama if it wasn't for that experience. And this morning, um, as I was saying goodbye to her, she was going, she's going outside to play with her nanny. They've gone to the park and, and this is uh, my two hour window where I get to do my interviews while she's with her nanny. And I said to her, I love you and have a beautiful time. And I'm about to, I always talk to her and tell her what I'm doing. I said, I'm about to jump on an interview. I'm um, interviewing someone for the Holy Mama. And then I'm being interviewed about the Holy Mama. And I said, that was all created because of you. Like, this is all because of you. And we're going to inspire so many mamas and children all over the world with this program. And I was just telling her everything that I'm doing. And, you know, that, the journey that I've been through um, on my conscious conception journey that took a lot longer than I would have thought it was going to take and everything that I've been through, all of the study that I've done, I studied conception, pregnancy, birth, postpartum and conscious parenting like I was doing a PhD. I stud I've studied it since 2013 because I've been obsessed with pregnancy and birthing and conscious parenting. And as soon as I met my husband, I knew that I was going to have his babies and I was going to marry him. And before that, I was like, I don't want to get married and I don't know if I want to have kids. And then I met him and I was like, yeah, we're getting married and we're having babies. Like I just knew. And we got engaged after two weeks and then we got married. Five you and got a half engaged after two weeks. After oh two weeks. God. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. And then we got married five and a half months later. And this was like, this was 2013. And, you know, we are still madly in love. And um, he's my one, he's my soulmate. And when you know, you know. And so when we got together, I knew that one day we were going to have children. And so I began my conscious conception journey then. Wow. I read every book that I could get my hands on. I saw practitioners, healers. I started doing the internal work then and the external work. I went to workshops. I then had the incredible privilege of having a top rated podcast. So I could just interview the world's best experts on these topics. <laughs> so it was, it was perfect. Uh, so yeah. Well, and I want to yeah. I want to stop you there though because when you're talking about conscious conception and I know for a lot of us even myself going through that journey of you know wanting to conceive naturally and making sure that there were you know we I was doing all of the things and just like you with this researcher mindset you you definitely dived in way deeper than I did which you know, for a lot of people who are kind of starting to think about just how to eat healthily, what, you know, intentionally thinking about even the conversations that they're having, even the partners that they are dating. Can you talk to us a little bit about your conscious conception? Yes. So in Holy Mama, it's broken up into four areas. And the first area is conscious conception. And then we go into pregnancy. And then we go into birth and postpartum. And then the fourth area is conscious parenting. 
but we'll start at conscious conception because it is so important. And so what is conscious conception? It is basically when two people or one person decide that they have that yearning and they decide that they want to have a baby and then they do everything that they physically can to prepare their body, their vehicle for that soul to come through. So you look at the physical things, the diet, all of those things. Uh, you look at the emotional things that are going on, the fears that we have, the limiting beliefs that we have. So uh, conscious conception is about looking at the, the mind, the body and the soul. Mm. It's looking at everything and getting yourself uh, to that place of, you know, being the best version of yourself. It's like preparing for a marathon, you know, birth is a marathon and we we would prepare for a marathon. We wouldn't just rock up on the day and not <clears throat> have done any preparation. You know, conscious conception is about preparing. It's about the body, the mind and the soul and getting all of those in alignment. And uh, so you feel like the best version of yourself. This isn't about perfection. It's not what it's about. It's about you feeling the like the best you because when you feel the best you and then a baby comes in, like, that's when the magic happens. See you next time at The Brave Table.